Okay, uh, as we look at these problems, first thing we need to know is what a rational expression is. A rational expression is a fraction that has a variable in the denominator, so what I just circled in green is a rational expression. To drive this point home, if I had something like x plus 4 over 2, this is not a rational expression because I could basically simplify that to a 1 half x plus 2 by dividing x by 2 and 4 by 2. So this is just a linear graph in disguise, something y equals mx plus b in disguise. But this one here, uh, I circled on the worksheet, is a rational expression because it has a variable in the denominator. The other thing to remember is a fraction is a division that hasn't happened yet. So if I had something like 4 over 2, I could divide that out and get a 2. Or even 1 over 3, I could divide that out and get a, you know, a 0.333 repeating. So, um, there's one number I cannot divide by, though, and that is I cannot divide by zero. So when I'm looking at an excluded value or a domain restriction, I'm looking at something that would make the denominator be zero. So on this first problem, if the denominator is one, one minus one would be zero. So that's a potential domain restriction. Also, if it is a negative one, this other denominator is zero. So my main restrictions for A are positive and negative one because those are the two numbers that um, could make one, either of my denominators equal to zero. If I go down to B, you notice the first denominator, you think what would make X minus one be zero? That would be a one, that's right. And then the other one with a B A, one as well. So if both denominators have a domain restriction of one, H, gives you a value of one. So that helps you figure out what you have going on here. I'm gonna give you a chance to try the next couple, then we'll go over the ones on the bottom. For C, uh, you could have a value of two and negative one. And for D, you could have had a value of one and negative two. So I hope you were able to get those right. For E, start out the same way. The domain restriction for this first denominator is negative two because negative two plus two is zero. The domain restriction for the other denominator is also negative two because negative two plus zero is zero. But the other thing to consider for these with the divide is remember you probably did in middle school where you uh, multiply by the reciprocal or you might've called it keep change flip. You basically say instead of dividing by that, I could multiply by the reciprocal or the flip version of x plus 2 over x plus 1. And I apologize, this computer is not wanting to get my pen strokes very well. But when I flip it upside down, you notice now I have an x plus 1 in the denominator. So my new domain restriction is a minus 1. So I have the x minus 2 and x minus 2 from my original denominators, the x minus 1 from the new denominator. So my best answer is that x cannot be negative 2 or negative 1, which would be answer G. If I look at the next one, in the original denominator, I cannot have a value of 2. And then as far as what makes x be zero, well, zero would make x be zero. So I can't have a two, I can't have a zero. Then if I were to flip this upside down, it would become an x over x plus one. When I keep change flip to get rid of that division and solve this problem. And then I say, well, what would make that be a, this denominator be zero, the answer would be negative one. So I have answers of two, zero, and negative one, two, zero and negative one. And uh, it is important to consider anything that'll make the original denominator zero, either one of them, and then anything that would make a denominator um, after you get rid of your division zero. So I hope that helps you with the domain restrictions. You might want to pause the video and check the last two and then I'll give you the answers. For G, you should have a negative two and a positive one. And for H, you should, and also a zero after you flip it. And H, originally, you should have a zero and a positive one, and then also a negative one after you flip that second fraction to do your division. So hopefully that helps you understand how to work these problems involving domain restrictions.